Hello YouTube. Today I want to do a brief review on the Charter Arms 38 Special, The Pink Lady. Uh, this is one of my first YouTube videos. So I'm filming with an iPhone, so I apologize for low quality, but I want to give you guys a run through or a breakdown of this handgun. As you can see, it is unloaded. I do keep it loaded. Uh, my wife keeps it loaded with uh, five rounds of Hornady Critical Defense 38 Special. To open the gun, uh, essentially to field strip it. Uh, now you don't really field strip a revolver for cleaning. Simply open the uh, cylinder, press the cylinder release. That opens the cylinder. See, it is unloaded. So let's go through a few points about this gun. What is it? It is the Charter Arms Pink Lady 38 Special. This particular model is a double action only. We ordered um, the model with the hammer exposed from Bud's Gun Shop, but they um, misrepresent the item, sent the double action only. So you cannot manually cock the hammer on this gun, which in a self-defense purpose, um, you wouldn't be doing anyways. So. What is the intended use of this gun? It's probably going to be uh, for those CCW permit holders, concealed carry. Uh, I have it in a inside the waistband holster here. Also have a pocket holster for it, uh, just cheap Uncle Mike's holster. Fits easily in a pocket, fits on a waistband. So probably going to be used for concealed carry. It's not a target pistol. Quality. I only give it 2 out of 5 stars because within the first... Um, several weeks we had to actually send it back to the factory um, which they repaired it for free we did have to pay shipping uh, the cylinder was completely stuck closed it would not open so they uh, the turnaround was about one week and so far I haven't had any problems with it since it's not going to be as high quality as Smith & Wesson when we look at the price range we bought this gun for the lower end of the price range, uh, right about $360. I've seen them at Gander Mountain for all the way up to $449. Uh, so, price range for us, uh, I give that a 4 out of 5 stars. But you can buy a Smith & Wesson 642 Airweight Revolver for $400. And the quality, in my opinion, is much greater, much smoother trigger pull. Uh, this trigger has been broken in since we've purchased it, but it was very, very stiff to the point where my wife had a very hard time actually pulling it back. Uh, it's broken in a little bit by now. We've had it for several months. Availability, most of your gun stores are going to have this gun or a similar model. Uh, this is a pink version of the Charter Arms Undercover. Ergonomics, how does it fit in your hand? How well does it carry? Very light gun. Uh, even with the 38 Special, uh, it is going to non, non plus P rounds. Um, Chart Arms suggests you don't shoot plus P through this gun. It is going to kick uh, a little bit. Uh, that doesn't bother me. It may bother some lighter framed people. And accuracy. Uh, this was a problem at the beginning. I really did not like the gun at the beginning compared to a Smith & Wesson that I had previously shot and was very accurate with. Um, I have learned to become a little bit more accurate with this gun. Let me show you a target here. This is at 7 yards, 25 shots. So you can see most of them are at least within the 8 ring with uh, quite a few in the 9 and some in the 10. So for up close work concealed carry uh, that accuracy is probably pretty sufficient. If you have any questions please comment in uh, below the video and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much.